Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a DIY nail tutorial on these poly gel acrylic style nails. So you get that acrylic style look, that nail salon look, but it's all done at home and I'm all about the DIY nail look. I love just working on my own nails, doing my own nails. So if you're excited for today's video, they can go ahead and give me a like down below. And if you're interested in seeing how I got my nails to look so cute and so trendy, then make sure you keep watching. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is take your 91% alcohol and just pour it into a small dish. This is going to be used as your slip solution for your poly gel. And then I have some press on nails that I've used in previous nail DIY videos, and I'm just fitting them to each finger um, and also pushing back my cuticles, which I've cleaned already off camera. So I have those set aside. And then I'm just showing you guys, I'm using a UV slash LED gel lamp that I found off of AliExpress. And also this Rosalind poly gel in the shade Nude Pink. This was also purchased on AliExpress. Then I'm just taking my little spatula and a bead of the poly gel and applying it to the center of the press on nail and then using a nail brush um, and your alcohol solution you're just going to apply that to the brush and then kind of push and mold the bead down in the press on nail this process is honestly very quick and easy once you get used to just maneuvering the nail brush and also applying and playing with the poly gel Then I'm just going in with a little bit more of the poly gel and just applying it to the center of the press on nail because I wanna really build up the apex of the nail just so that I have a bit more support on my fingernail so that it doesn't kind of like break off at any point or lift. And I just wanna mention I am not a nail professional. I am a complete DIY queen and that's why we're doing this DIY together today. Um, but yeah, not a professional. I just really love doing my own nails. Taking a bit more of that alcohol solution and kind of just pressing it down and molding it to the nail. Um, you wanna make sure that you're not applying too much of the poly gel. You wanna keep it pretty thin on the top and the bottom and kind of thicker in the center, but not too thin but a decent amount. Think about the thickness of the kind of nail that you'd want on your finger. I'm just gonna go ahead and mold all five nails and kind of just set them aside. I feel like this is easier than molding one at a time and applying them to each finger. I kind of just mold all five and have them set aside. That way I can put them all on and then be ready for the next step. Then taking my Rosalind base coat, this is a gel polish, it's clear. Um, I'm just gonna apply this to my natural nail and you wanna do a very thin layer of this. You don't need a thick layer of base coat. Thinner is always better with gel. And once you're done applying the clear gel base coat, you wanna cure your fingernails for at least 90 seconds. Then picking up our press on nail with the poly gel, I'm just going to lightly press down on the press on, applying it to my fingernail, making sure that I'm not pressing too hard because I don't want the gel to ooze out on the sides, kind of like it did on my ring finger, which is why I'm going back in with the brush. And then also you wanna make sure that you're gonna press the gel away from the skin underneath your fingernail, that way you don't cure any of the poly gel onto your finger, just on the fingernail. Then I'm gonna stick that in the UV lamp for 90 seconds. This is what it should look like. And then I'm just taking my little cuticle cutters and just peeling off the press on nail, revealing our poly gel nail underneath. Doesn't it look so good? Like I was so, so proud of myself, like wow. Um, then I'm gonna go ahead and just peel off the other press-ons because I've cured the other fingernails. It really just like lifts right off, super easy, and it looks really, really good. And the poly gel is just as strong as any acrylic powder I've ever used. Um, I really don't see a difference in the poly gel versus like acrylic or gel nails. 
Next step is to shape and file your nails, of course. This is my favorite step. Like even when I'm getting my nails done in the nail salon, I feel like this is when everything just comes together. When your nail tech perfects your shape, you feel like you're that bitch, you know? Like, do you know what I'm saying? So this is my favorite part, shaping my own nails, because I feel like I'm really a stickler for the perfect shape. I love a coffin ballerina kind of shape where you have really sharp sides, but like a nice square top. So that's what I'm going in and I'm doing now. And then I'm using my nail buffer and kind of just buffing the top to make sure that it's super smooth. Oh, it looks so good. Like I would just leave them just like this. <laughs> like, I love it. Next, I'm going to go in with an alcohol wipe and kind of just wipe off all of the nail dust that we have. And then taking my Roslyn top coat and some rhinestones that I purchased off of AliExpress as well. I did a clear top coat and then I'm just applying the rhinestone on top and curing for 90 seconds. Then going in on the middle finger, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to use smaller rhinestones that I also purchased off of AliExpress. These were super cheap and I'm going to take six small rhinestones and just apply them to the top of my nail bed in kind of like a C shape. I've been seeing this style all over Pinterest and I've been dying to try it out. So I thought, why not? This is the perfect time. For the ring finger, I'm going to go in with a clear thin layer of the top coat and then I'm going to take these small little nail decals. I really don't know what else to call them, but they're kind of like these holographic little plastic nail decals in different shapes. There's like hearts and stars and moons and circles in it and I'm just applying them all over the nail using the nail brush and then I'm going to cure it for 90 seconds and then apply another layer of the top coat and cure that for another 90 seconds. For the thumb, I had a different idea that I wanted to do for it. I have these holographic kind of little pieces of plastic. I really don't know what these are called, but they're like nail design, nail decals, whatever you want to call it. And they're like little holographic pieces where they're like pink with like a green shift and pink with a blue shift and white with a purple shift. So I kind of just applied these all over the thumb finger. After applying a thin layer of the top coat, I'm going to cure it for 90 seconds. Then I'm going to take my finger out of the, the UV LED lamp and apply another layer of the top coat and cure for another 90 seconds. Then to finish off, I'm just taking a alcohol wipe and just kind of cleaning off the top layer of the nails. And this is the final result. All you, all you need now is some cuticle oil and a little bit of hand moisturizer and honey. You are set. You are good to go. You just got a nail salon treatment at home. I'm really pleased with the way that my nails turned out. Let me know down below if you guys like them too. If you'll try this out, you can leave me a comment. Maybe thumbs up this video to help your girl out. You can go ahead and also click that subscribe button and join the fam because there will be plenty, plenty more videos on its way. I love you guys and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.